Welcome to Puerto Jiménez, located in the southern part of the outlying Osa Peninsula. It is one of the most remote destinations in Costa Rica. Puerto Jiménez is a great base for exploring the national park of Corcovado, see the bioluminescence, do some sport fishing or other water activities, a chocolate tour, visiting the wildlife sanctuary, or just enjoying some of the stunning beaches of the Golfo Dulce. The sheltered Golfo Dulce is also home to a variety of dolphin species, whales and whale sharks. And although the last two are visible only in the seasons, the dolphins can be seen all year round and often in large groups. The appearance of Puerto Jiménez is that of a real off the beaten path place to visit although it does have its own airport. The town itself has a few nice restaurants, shops and several tour operators. Another fun fact is that like the peninsula of Nicoya, which we visited earlier on this trip, the peninsula of Osa is another of the few blue zones in the world. The peninsula of Osa is filled with rainforest and has several national parks to enjoy the vast biodiversity it has to offer. It is also a beautiful place to go for drive around the Golfo Dulce and enjoy the amazing views along the way. As we have already done most of our tours such as Corcovado National Park, which can be viewed in our playlist, we are going to explore a few beaches and drive around through this beautiful biodiverse area. The main beach of Puerto Jiménez has very calm water, unlike many other beaches in Costa Rica, which makes it ideal for swimming and paddling. And for my paddling friend, SUP chick, no crocodiles here, so safe paddling. Getting to the beach itself makes for a nice short hike. But you can also take your car, as there's plenty of place to park at the beach itself. You will also find several bars and restaurants on walking distance and a nice boulevard to go for a stroll. If you prefer a more secluded beach, Playa Platanares is only 6 km away from town. But we'll get to that shortly. First. I'd like to show you another cool thing at this beach, as often you can find a group of famous scarlet macaws up in the trees. Or better said, you can often hear them. Quite amazing colors, right? Do you know what is also amazing? Our playlist, full of beautiful places to visit around Costa Rica. So make sure to check them after this video and hit that like and subscribe button as it helps our channel grow and getting viewed. Don't forget the bell icon to never miss an upload. Ready? Good! Then let's go for a drive. The drive itself led us to nowhere, as we intended to find a national park, but got sent the wrong way and kept ending up at the same place. Our navigation led us to a place in the middle of nowhere. So we don't let this opportunity go to waste and fly our drone to see where we are and this way our trip wasn't in vain. But with such beautiful surroundings it wasn't either way, as the drive itself is a highlight on its own. Our next stop is the earlier mentioned secluded beach of Platanares, a bit more to the south of the Osa Peninsula. One cool thing along the way between Puerto Jiménez and Playa Platanares are these mangroves, for those who haven't seen them yet. Once you arrive at the end of the sandy road, you can park your car here and walk the last part towards this long stretch of sand and palm trees. Besides more scarlet macaws in the trees here, the shade forming palm trees crashing waves and stunning views make this the ideal place to spend the days and enjoy the warm waters. So would you put Puerto Jiménez 
on your itinerary and why? Let us know in the comments. So, and that concludes it for us here. In our next video, we'll finally finish up our itinerary and with that, our road trip through Costa Rica. Make sure to join our final episode as we explore the last national park before heading back to our starting point. So we will be up and away the other side of these waters. But that's a story for next week. Ciao for now. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Meanwhile, check out these other videos of amazing places to visit in Costa Rica.